Hello, and welcome back. And today I'm going to convert my welder from one of these little, having one of these little bottles to one of these Hobby World 15 bottles. So I'm going to convert this. I've got the regulator for it and all the little bits and pieces we need to change it. So uh, let's get. I'll show you what I've got to convert it to the bigger bottle. Got a proper regulator, it's only a cheap one, it's their make as well. Um, that was 1999, say 20 quid plus back. So I've got that while I was there. And the conversion hose to um, conversion hose adapter so that I can connect it to the, the little thing, I think it's a four mil pipe, I'm not sure what comes out the back of the welder for the little bottle yeah so yeah, anyway I'll mention the prices as we go obviously I'm filming this in uh, October 2020 so prices do vary and we'll go up <laughs> first job I'm going to do well first job I've already done it I've changed the bottle on here to try it's not it's not tight at the moment but it won't fall over and damage it or anything underneath it I've gone for the 15, Hobby World 15 uh, gas, not the 5. Um, just because I think it can be, it'd be more useful for me. The, the 5 is for like um, bodywork, thin stuff, up to 7mm. And this is the next stage up, the 15. Uh, but I think both, of, both would have suited me, to be honest with you. Um, but I just thought um, I'll get the 15 <laughs> um, and later on I'll do I'll let you know how I get on with this as well and uh, the price of this by the way I'll do some prices now while I remember uh, remember it's October 2020 so prices will vary when you uh, you know you might have a look at it or if you've got it in the past you'll realize how much it's gone up um, this is what I call a small bottle. Well, I call it a small bottle on the internet, I think, and it's called a regular bottle when you go in the shop. <laughs> so, um, oh, um, and he starts his lawnmower as I'm filming. So, uh, yeah, so this bottle was a deposit of £70. Now, that, that's a refundable deposit. Um, you do have to pay an admin fee, so if I took this bottle back now, I would get, I think he said £52 back on it. But once you pay that £70, that is it for the lifetime of the bottle. So as long as, time, long as you want it, it's yours, you know. Um, there's no rental on the bottle, it's a good thing. And like I say, if you give it up, you get your money back, apart from a little admin fee. Um, to fill it with gas, is £42, including VAT. And your £70 is £70, you know, so there's nothing added onto that. So, uh, yeah, £42 for a refill. Um, but it isn't bad when you work it out how much them little bottles are. I think I was looking on eBay the other day and they were about £18 each. And you're getting a lot more in here for 42 quid. Um, yeah, I know you, it's, it's £70 you've got to pay in the first place. You know, you know, plus the, the refill you have to pay to start with. It's a bit of money to pay out the first time. But once you've got it, you've got it, you know. And same with the gauges, like I say, it was £20, the regulator was £20 plus that, plus this pipe, what was £5, um, 31 plus that. So, but once you've got them, you've got them, so you're only going to, your next payout would be £42, at least it goes up. Um, but it won't be a big increase, that's £42 including that. So, uh, that's pretty good. Right, so the first job is to fit this pipe. Um, it's basically this is the original pipe. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see the end of that. It's just like a pushing thing, like the, a bit like the original um, regulator on this. So that just pushes in there as easy as that, and it's locked. If you want to pull this out, you pull the blue plastic bit in, and it's done. So my next job now is to connect the, the regulator on here, and then we'll connect this up to it, and we're nearly there as you can see I've just screwed this on roughly just nipped it up I mean it is just nipped up I'm going to have to go indoors in a minute and um, get some soapy water so we can test for air leaks 
gas, gas leaks, not air leaks, I suppose, isn't it? And that just screws on there. Right, so, I mean, it seems to nip up tight as soon as you nip it with your fingers. I don't think you need to give it a, a lot. They're only like a brass, brass fixings, and you don't want to force anything. You know. But, um, yeah, I want to just nip indoors, get some soapy water. And we'll tip it where, where, where in here, around here, and around the other fit in here. Um, and if we get any bubbles, it's no good using just water because water just run off of it. You need soapy water. And it doesn't hurt to do this every now and again anyway because you can get a little leak. Right, I'm going to go use some soapy water. Well, hopefully you can hear me over the top of the lawnmower next door. It seems to have this lady cutting the grass every time I start filming. Uh, <laughs> um, right, now... I haven't tried it yet, I've got my glass of soapy water but I can't find a little, I normally have a squirty bottle what I use for when I do the leak down tests on the engines and that, but uh, I think it's in the van somewhere. Anyway, um, what they should run, well for me personally what I've been told what I should be running somewhere between two and say four uh, litres per minute. Now these gauges are very sort of crude if you know what I mean. They're, it's got a 10 litres, it's got a 10 litre mark and a 15 litres per minute mark. Um, obviously I want to get it down as much as I can. Now I've been told that, that you, you get these down on the minimum and it's still probably be too much. But I'm not too worried about that because like I say it's a big bottle and it's not as bad as when I was buying, paying for them little bottles, you know. If that makes sense. So I'm going to turn it on and uh, let's see what happens. <laughs> You've got to do it, oh, sorry, quite quick, we've got to do it sort of slow. It's right up to the, as you can see on there, I don't think you can see it, it's on the 131 bar just over that actually. So I don't know if I need to bring that down a bit, but that's, that's where it's on anyway. And then, where's my trigger? Because I've got I've got my art weld on this trolley and I've got other bits on here. Oh, just had a little puff there. Staying on. I would say that's too much. Yeah, you can hear it. Yeah, go back your way. Don't know where you can hear this, but that is we're just registering on the on the needle. I can probably go down a bit more. You can hear it. Don't know if you can hear it with that almost running. That's plenty, plenty, if not too much. It's a little bit more than that. I would say that's more than enough in there. And it's not even written on the gauge. So, whereas my other one with the little bottle, you'd go and have a whack. You'll hear it come out, and then you'd have nothing. Or you'd have you could never you could never adjust it right. It either had everything or nothing. And uh, like I said, I'm no welder, but um, I didn't fancy. Um, Take down for now. I want to test it for water leaks, don't I? That's a silly idea, isn't it? <laughs> right, let's try it for leaks. I've only got water on it, I haven't got a brush in it. I can't see one, so I'm going to just tip the water on it and see what we can come up. Don't see nothing coming out of there. There's nothing bubbling up around there. And it's just dripping off. The one we pushed in. I didn't trim the pipe or nothing, I've just literally took it out the and there's no bubbles coming out of there. And I've just used a bit of washing up liquid in here. Obviously you don't want to pour this water over your welder. <laughs> I 
I can see the water sitting there, but you probably can't see it. I can see the water sitting on the joints. I will use this spray bottle when I double check it. So no leaks, no nothing, and literally, these are just nipped up. They're not over tightened or nothing. Let's just see. I'll bet I'll watch this back off there, a big bubble pit appear there now. <laughs> um, well, if I do, I'll, I'll adjust it. But obviously, that's how you do it. Um, let's shut it down. Relieve the pressure to see if it. You can see these gauge now dropping. So there's no pressure coming up in them gauges. So that's good. So I'll leave them unpressurised for now because it's going to be a little while before I use it. Um, right, let's have a little chat of how you get these and how you, where you get it all from. Right, if you can hear a hissing noise, don't worry, it's the rain on the roof, <laughs> nothing leaking out. <laughs> okay. Um, now that took what, a couple of minutes, okay, it took 20 times longer than that to film it. That's normal, but it took a couple of minutes to do. It's no different to when you do one of these bottles with the little regulator, what I just put down, there you go. It's literally the same process. You screw the regulator on and you push the pipe in. It's quite simple. Um, I think anybody can do it. If, you can, if you've done one of them bottles, you can do this easy. Um, now I've been wanting to do this conversion, a lot of you know, for probably good couple of years but I just had to ju uh, justify the price of it um, and in that time it's gone up from £60 for the deposit to £70 for the deposit so I've, I've lost a tenner there for doing that if you know what I mean but you can just take the bottle back in and you you don't get a full um, refund but you get a lot of a fair bit you just lose a little bit for admin so at the moment I took it back I think he said something, something like 52 quid back or something but you know, it costs you a lot more on that to hire the bottle and then realise that weld is not for you or you, you, know, you don't use it or whatever. Um, yeah, so if you're interested in going for this, if you go to, hang on, I'll get it on so you get the, web, it's a, the website. Um, you go on there and you put in, if you put in, um, you know, finder, dealer finder. Um, Put your postcode in, it will come with your nearest nearest dealer. Now the good thing about this is I'm in based in Essex as you know, and um, my nearest dealer is Haverhill, Suffolk. And it's from my door to their door is bang on seven and a half miles. So um, that's pretty good. I think it was oh I won't tell you the name of the supplier because it won't mean a lot to you. But um, they were really really good. Um, there's I phoned a couple of dealers up over the, over the last two years trying to figure out where to go, get it from and stuff and prices and that. And they've always been friendly and they always help you out on what size bottle you need. Um, for me, it's a really the really good thing is about it, we shop in Hope Hill. So to go shop, if I run out of gas, I can go shopping and on the way back, pop in the place. It's, 200, it's 100 yards up the industrial state. So it's like 200 yard diversion to get me gas. And then that's 42 quid at the moment for including VAT for the uh, for the gas, which is good. And like so I've gone for the 15 because it's um, it's the most um, usable, if you know what I mean. For covers a lot of range. The the five is okay for smaller stuff, for thinner stuff, up to firm, I think seven mil. But it will do bigger stuff. It's just what they you know they, they recommend. And then, like I say, this will do smaller stuff, you know. So, I've been told by a lot of people that a 15 would suit me more with what I'm doing. Um, but it's good. But um, like I say, there's no problem in there's no problem if you want to pack up and you want to get the bottle back, take the bottle back, you get your money back. You, know, you just couldn't need a receipt. You go in, you have to give your name and address. That's it. And you're, that bottle is with you for life. Well, you've got a bottle for life. Obviously, you just change the bottle when you go in. Um, there's no hassle. I've gone and got this all their stuff um, because it was easier, and I went in one shop and it was done. The whole lot was done. Um, I may up see if I can upgrade to a better regulator. I don't know if I need to. I don't think I need to, but we'll see. Um, like I say, this is all out my own money, so um, I'm not being paid by them. But we'll see how we get on. Now the the proof is in the welding, isn't it? Really, and the length of time I'll keep the bottle. So over the next couple of weeks I've got an engine mount to make for 
this behind me. Let's turn around to show you. I've got an engine mount to make for this for the fast heater. The engine, I mean, not the pole. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, let's put it back. And then I've got to finish off welding up the chassis for the fast heater as well. Um, so we'll be able to test it, and then I will honestly give you a, you know, a review, a review on it. Um, if I think it's shit, I'll tell you it's shit. You know, it's uh, how I am. Um, so yeah, it's it, it seems pretty good. The setup's good. Um, it's no hassle. Like I say, it's no hassle. Um, everything. If you if you're not sure, just phone them up. and They'll tell you what gas you need. Um, yeah, they're pretty good. Like I say, we're well went. We're excellent. Um, I'll come back right me back my car right up to the, the door. They weigh apparently 13.7 kilos then bottles uh, according to the website and they, the, then they go upwards, they go big a lot bigger. And I believe they do cutting bottles and god knows what's that's good. You, you know they do more different for welding. So it's an inter you know it'll be an interesting website to look at if you're into your welding that makes a lot of sense doesn't it? But you understand what I'm saying. Yeah so if you like it, give us a thumbs up. If you want to see what I do with the gas bottle, on the gas, you know, what I weld up, um, yeah, subscribe and all the rest of it. And uh, like I said, I'm no welder, so yeah, you don't expect nothing much. But I think, oh, you're just hearing the way the, air, the, air, you know, the gas is coming out, I think it's going to improve my welding no end. And um, there's only one way to find out, and then let's do some welding. So, see you soon. Take it easy, don't forget to subscribe, get a thumbs up, and all the rest of it. And remember, it's okay not to be okay. See you soon. Bye. <laughs>